For hands of gold are always cold, but a woman's hands are warm. For hands of gold are always cold, but a woman's hands are warm. What is up everybody and welcome back for part 14 of our Trials of the Seven Kingdoms Let's Play. I don't know if you guys have really seen this. This is the um, the menu. They've got a really cool like Dragonstone table, the Keep of Dragonstone, bit of a glitch over here. I don't know. That's probably intended. I don't actually know. But remember that the mod is a work in progress. It does look amazing. So yeah, part 14. Let's jump into it. Alrighty, welcome back to the campaign map, everybody. If you remember, at the end of our last series, it was only released about a day ago, or today, depending on what time this uploads for you guys. Um, yeah, so we peaced out with House Frey, we took the Twins, we now hold the Twins and the Pike, uh, which puts us in a pretty good spot. Um, we own a village way the fuck down here, it's insane. that. This place comes with one, two, three, four villages. What's the income like? The twins makes 11,000, makes 300 more than Pike. Not even that much more, crazy. All right, let's ride on in here, see if we've got anything to sell. I've got to focus up on uh, econ now. We'll go recruit, don't really have much to gain here. We'll go trade, we'll sell some stuff, get some more money in the bank, as if we weren't fucking rich enough. The only people left at war with us are the men of the Night's Watch, but considering they lack any castle, and we have two cities, I'd like to say the war with them is pretty much over. Now what I can do is open this and propose peace. I assume they'll take it. I rather doubt um, that they have much of a way of um, refusing me. All right, my Night's Watch propose. Right, we have peace. Now, our power is super low. We gotta get some lords out to gather some men. We also don't have any lords that currently serve us. Um, the Tyrell Dawn, the Night's Watch have made peace. Frey have made peace. New owner of the Twins is Garland. We still have to appoint a leader. I believe we said we would make this Flement Bitter Drought. Actually, uh, the Siege of the Wanderer is not bad. Uh, I don't actually like her stats. They're not that great. I thought she had good stats, but she just has lots of them. Heal rate. No, because he's really good for healing. We'll have to find a half-decent governor to chuck in here. For now, Alan will live there. Alan! Fortifications are fine. We have a forum. If we have a granary, we don't need that. Well, um, what are we lacking? Security. So... What's going to give us that? Garrison adds to it. All right, so what we'll do is we'll go garrison barracks. No, workshops, garrison barracks. Orchard for food, aqueducts, marketplace, militia, siege. Just so you know, this is going to take a while. Uh, let me know down in the comments below, guys, if you think we should just, uh, if I should do a time lapse and just hop on here and let a lot of this stuff build up unless a big event happens, in which case I'll resume the next episode there. Um, I've been thinking about it as a, otherwise you guys are going to be sitting here for a while before these, these cities start making, pulling their weight. Um, let's go to the tavern and see, oh dude, there's so many people to recruit. All right, let's recruit all of these guys. Let's go. We need people, and there's an absolute ton of them here. The little guy, the hawk. Skip, we need to hire you. Look at all these, damn, there's a lot of people here. That's crazy. Ah, forgot, didn't hire her properly. So, 
We're going to make a couple of these people lords. And they will become... Um, didn't mean to visit her. It's unfortunate. They'll become our main force for when we march against the Boltons or the Wildlings. This episode, I doubt we're going to get into a war. Um, but yeah. If we do. It's huge. Mercenary scout, townsman. And there's one more dude in here. That's Tavern Maid, Game Host, Townsman, Alan the Grizzled, Townsman, Townsman Musician, Salon the Alone. I want you to be a vassal of my kingdom. You know what? You may have Pike. Uh, Joanna Black. I need some money to hire soldiers. I'll pay you big money, sir. Position. I don't know if I even hired... Well, anyway. We have a, um... We've created a vassal. Given them some money to start off. Gave them the twins, mind you. Um, but that is the cost. We need, we need stronger armies. We can create a bunch of parties, don't get me wrong. But I'd like to have a vassal. Vassal's going to be able to create more of their own clan. Um, get their own wife, things like that. Over time, um, it'll just work out way better for us. See, there was two more dudes in there. Skip. Higher. Skip. Higher. Alright. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go here. We're going to go clan. This is a lot of uh, setup, this episode. Um, okay, guys. We're going to take this one. Alright, guys. Just going to pause the episode here real quick. Um, my one-year-old has just woken up. Alright guys, no real time will have passed for you, but for me, I just spend about 15 minutes with my partner dealing with a very upset child. Alright, now, um, let's get back into it. I don't, we're not at war. I think Teon doesn't really need our assistance in forming a party, to be honest. Now we're going to make another one with Miles the Boar. Not giving him many though. Ugh. Our army is our army and it must remain strong. Now, what I'm going to do is I probably should have checked this beforehand, but I'm going to check the guys in our current party and see if any of them have significant trade. I'd like to get a couple caravans going just to just to keep us in a good spot. You know, this is a very management type episode. Duelist trainer. Now the experience gain 5% more XP after every battle. I like that. Double renowned tournaments might actually be broken in this mod since it gives you 250 renown per tournament now. Uh, Law keeper. 10% more damage bonus simulations against bandit parties. All battle simulations. Bandit parties aren't really a threat to us anymore. We'll upgrade tactics. Garland must stay a, a good leader of men. Increase from men gained by battle. Recruit troops with start with bonus XP of 200. That's not bad. I'll take that. Steward. Tax income is higher. Scholar weapons can be done into troops for increased experience. Mm. Logistician increase party morale by four if number of mounts is greater than no because I'm never going to have more cav than non-cav uh, Raquel the Brax can continue to increase her steward and then her trade because she is a she's currently my main person for that we are the shield maiden now this lady I believe is our caravan no, not even. She's one of our warriors. Add in. That's our current lord we assigned. Um, Cedra the Wanderer. Give it that. None of these guys really have spectacular trade. Uh, 
this dude. I'd like to just make him a monster. <clears throat> I'll upgrade this. Yeah, just no real trade geniuses amongst them. Viserys, bitter drought, wholesaler, trade goods. I suppose we could use this dude temporarily. He'll get levels shortly. <clears throat> Viserys, bitter drought will lead our caravans. All right, it's confirmed. Let's go. Wait for this load time to hurry up. There we go. Um, powerful artisan. That's who we want to talk to. Wish to form a caravan. Better troops. Twenty-two grand. This guy. Alright, I'm happy with the current state of things, let's do some scouting, we'll go, we'll go ex check in on the main city, see how construction fares over this side, Whoop. the phrase are going to war, see I need, aha, a baby was born, Willis, Excellent. <clears throat> A son to inherit the Tyrell Dawn. <clears throat> We're getting about 6,000 gold a day. I don't mind that currently. Let's go. Now, <clears throat> wife needs to be pregnant again, not gonna lie. Our house needs to expand. House can only expand with children. Hi, these. Wipe out these random. Uh, random bandits don't want them picking off our people I don't care about prisoners we're not taking prisoners from bandit parties they're not worth a damn thing to us <clears throat> sure we'll take some some small amount of gear from them why not no point saying no it's not going to give us any XP may as well be sold later with a bunch of other shit we collect Oh my god, little bit of a frame drop, don't worry about it. Old Wick, or Old Wike. I'm not entirely sure how that's pronounced. If someone would like to let me know down in the comments, no problem hearing that out. I'm probably going to lose a few of our dudes. I'm probably going to drop to um, uh, bandit parties and shit while they're exploring. See, that guy got captured. I don't really mind... Like we didn't give them any men for, and I didn't really, sometimes they just, sometimes they, especially in this mod, there's some big bandit parties. If they ran into like, like for example, over here in front of the veil, vale, the start of the game, there's like 80, 90 part size parties of like bandits, not looters, bandits. So they've got armor, they've got javies. If these guys run in there with a bunch of fucking peasants, they just get destroyed and then They've lost the army they were gathering. They've lost so much more. And you've just lost troops by giving it to them that you've got to now go and hire again. Not worth it at all. This is good for us. Do, 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 do. Yes. I should probably just close that notification. So we're going to start maybe chunking money. I'm not sure. We'll see how we go. <coughs> We should head north and explore what our opposition is looks like. We've got a max party size, so we may as well just head off north and do our thing. That's a large party of looters, but I don't really wish to fight them, I'm not going to lie. We'll go north, we'll investigate the Boltons, and then we'll investigate the Wildlings, as those are our targets. Now, granted, our lands are decently spread out, taking them this way. <clears throat> However, if we go to war with wind, with the north, right? Think about it this way. If we go to war with the north, and we can build up enough, we'll have the Dread Fort, and we'll have Fen. So, Cart... It's all black, last half, Winterfell, and Carhold. We'll probably just focus at this. 
Meanwhile, from the Twins and Pike, we can launch attacks on White Harbor, Deepwood Mott, and Barriton. We might be able to peace out with them before they can cause too much damage to our northern provinces. Even if we trade these for these, we're in a better position than what we were prior. That's my thought train. Now, <clears throat> to the Dreadfort. Oh, there's the Knight's Watch with their little army they can't really pay for. I don't really understand. So 215 Boltons seem to be in an okay position. We're going to investigate the north. See what sort of shenanigans might be able to be pulled out of our asses up here. The realms of men might like us more if we just go and wipe out the north. <clears throat> I mean, we're doing our job. Oh, who just declared... God damn it, the Starks just declared war on us. That is the worst possible person to declare war on us right now. Eddard fucking Stark. And we're marching through northern lands. This is gonna suck. Lord White Hill serves the Boltons. If we can hug... Bolton lands, we might be able to... Alright, no, lots of it. Car stocks that way. This is gonna suck trying to get out of here. Galbert Glover. I don't want to actually fight you guys. I just want to leave and get back to my kingdom. Back to my child. The Tyrell Dawn must not lose this way. Lawrence Snow, Kerwin. Oh, some big armies. Right, we're gonna get that way. Just trying, hopefully, not to get caught out. We have a big force, so we are not that fast. There is an army gathering. Ooh, it's spooky. Big spooky. Keep running, keep running. Now, I don't suppose we could somehow force the Starks into peace here. Like, I, I doubt it. Now, I know they're going to attack the twins. That's, that's a guarantee. We're just going to have to pull everything these guys have managed to gather into whatever the fuck we can and pray that we can... Oh, God, Jesus Christ. Run us this way. Run, 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 run. Get to the rest of our forces. They're going to siege that. There's nothing we can do. What we can do is attempt to gather whatever forces we have. What sort of defense they have? 431. If those 431 men do enough damage, we might be able to scatter this northern army and then try and sue them for peace. Maybe. That's our literal best bet. It's a problem. And we're going to watch their army's numbers. <clears throat> John Aaron. Now that Vale's at war with us? Oh, this is a problem. Guys, we have an issue. Uh, the Tyrell Dawn have just encountered a large problem. A very, very large problem. Two of them, in fact. Both of them have very big armies. My intention was that we would not be facing this for a while, has the garrison. Go, 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 go. Can't let them take it. The garrison's getting way too low and I can't risk it. Oh, this is gonna suck. <laughs> oh, pray, boys. Pray that we get a map that we can wallop them on. For well, that is our chance. If we can actually sit... If we win this battle, if we can sit this stack of about a thousand dudes at the Twins, we might be able to hold them here. I don't know if they'll actually go for um, Pike because of how out of the way it is. And Pike's actually started to build up a decent amount of defense, although we did take a lot of that to take the twins. I now see the issue. Hmm. <laughs> well... This is a spooky situation. 
We will have this epic battle, and it will decide the fate of all of us. Alright, infantry. Whoever's in that infantry line that's on a horse, get off it. Stop being stupid. This is a big, wide area that we might be able to rack up a lot of kills on. So we're going to prepare to rack up a lot of kills. We know they're going to run at us. Like, There's no chance that they're going to um, hold because why would they? They outnumber us like 10 to 1. Although, when the battles get compressed like this, if we hold position, I think we can do what we did to the last battle. Are we going to get by... What the sh... This dude. Lord Dustin. I... Leon Dustin, I don't think that was the way to go, dude. Where the, the rest of his army isn't present, and his ass just rode in and died. Well, clearly there was three other horsemen, because here's their horses. The dudes that were riding them, on the other hand. Was that, like, all of their lords? Show cursor. What do they got? They got... We've got the garrison with us as well. Not bad. Um, so, Lord Flint... Did not ride out and fall. Well, they've only lost one man. Where'd their horses come from? Why is there random horses? I need to know. Did we lose those horses? No. What? What? Three horses. One horse died here. That's it. And then Lord Dustin died with it. Who the feck rode in these random horses and just parked them here? Was this the garrison? Did they... Did the 43 men of the garrison get here on those three horses? I'm so confused. Our infantry actually outnumbers theirs, and so does our, our archers. However, they have way more cavalry than we do. Kinda spooky. I don't imagine they're going to sprint at us for too long, because eventually, this is going to happen. And, if I remember correctly, our archers are pretty goddamn solid. They have a lot of good infantry just straight bum-rushing us, though. Like, two-handed swordsmen and shit. Knights of the Trident, things like that. Surely we force them back, right? Like, they're just gonna run in and get massacred this way. I mean, I'm down for it, but I don't understand the AI's thought train. The AI's dumb, but normally it's smarter than this. This doesn't make sense. See, look, now their infantry is confused and it's running back. Like I said, I've shown you that the AI can be smart. I turned the AI on for us and we did, and it did pretty well. But the, this guy is just like walking past the archer line. Like, they just don't even care about it. Keep running back, keep running back. This is the play. Trust me, this is the play. If we keep kiting them out, we will smash them. Once our arch line turns back around, they're going to get fucked up. That's it, men. Keep lighting them up. Infantry, get in there. I think this is a good point for us to smash them. They lose a lot of men here, I know it. Now, their cav is more than likely going to charge us since we've committed our infantry. Ah! We've got to try and stall out the northern warriors over here. Try and draw their attention. Garland holding the line. For the Tyrell Dawn. If they lose here, they lose in general. For the Vale is marching upon us, and we do not have the numbers to lose here. Infantry, pull back! Form the line behind the archers! Keep the same strategy and we will win here, men. They're falling right back. This is huge for us. Did we, like, waste their entire infantry line? We can move back up here. 
into like almost the same position we had. You lot to here. Infantry behind. Oof, we're getting a bit of lag. Yeah, that's kind of annoying me. I'm just gonna audio. Yeah, the audio lag was what was bothering me there. We're not having really any game lag that much. Might be a bit a few frame drops, not gonna lie, because like pretty decent sized squad on the field, not gonna lie. Like, you know, we've got, I think we've got a thousand men on the field, yeah. About that. About a few. Now they have 122 archers running up. Well, we got out 183, and ours are way better. Let's go, dude. How's our cav looking? 21 cav on one side, 14 on the other, I think. Is what that is, yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. Those guys aren't cav. Oh. Wait, they're hidden. I'm stupid. Those aren't cav. The Gaming 2022. Let's go. No, yeah, no, stupid. Get them, boys. Fucking shoot them dead. Prove the archer supremacy we have built for our nation. Look, we must protect the mythic horses that survived. I don't... The, the three that spawned. There's only two left, I think. The others all died. Oh, this is perfect. Holy shit, look at that force, dude. Is that 231 horses? What the shit is that? I'm fairly certain that's going to be an issue. You can try and convince me all day that those ho horses aren't going to murder our army. But, uh... Yeah, this doesn't look good. Bro, how much cab does the north need? What the shit? Apparently a lot. And I don't have that much fucking spearmen. This is gonna... This is gonna suck. I'm really good against infantry but forces. I expected the Northerners to be more of an infantry focused faction, but apparently not. <clears throat> That's just not what they do. I need my infantry to be fighting them way ahead. Well, not way ahead, but you know what I mean. A decent extent ahead of my archer force. Their infantry force is never going to reach us, even if they do, they get completely destroyed. <clears throat> Look, they look like a horde. This is the most retarded... Alright, their cab's charging. Go infantry. We need to counter charge them to try and absorb some of this impact. Because this is going to be a sucky day for our uh, archers. Ah, oh, shit, boys. Although, their cab might actually get straight up massacred. I'm not going to lie. Having this many cav in a blob is almost never a good thing. And goddamn, we are carving dudes up because everywhere you turn... There is someone to stab. Ah! Uh, defeat. Defeat the Stark Northern Wolf Guard. He believes himself to be elite. Prove him wrong. How much of their cab force did they lose here? They're still losing it. Infantry to here. Actually, infantry back here. Back behind the archer line again. We will use this archer line until they have no archers left. For that is the commitment we made. <clears throat> so far, we're doing well. They're losing a lot of men. No doubt we've lost a lot of men. Nowhere near what they have lost. We've basically done what, what we plan to do. We've held the ground where our men respawn, which is allowing us to get a fair bit of dominance over them because they're having to fall back, regroup, push, fall back, regroup, push. Whereas we just get to absolutely dominate them. Now my plan is to move the line up. Archers might be able to find some extra um, arrows on the way up as well, which is huge for us. Have had a lot of uh, skirmishes in the area. There we go. Men are picking up arrows now. Look at that. Infantry needs to get right up here. We know that they have a lot of cav. We don't want to fuck with that. 
They have 72 cav over there, 86 cav. They may have learned their lesson about that frontal cav charge bullshit. It does not work without with our army. <clears throat> However, they have not learned their lesson about their army because their army is not grouped up. They do not have a shield wall and they're just running blindly at our archers. Which results in this shit. Because I just keep moving my men up and collecting all the arrows. Like this one. Can someone take this arrow out of my horse's face? I'm sure it's having an issue with that. <laughs> okay, come on, man. Keep the arrow fire up. Keep it up. See, I'm losing so many men. That horse is going to die if it stays there. This guy's screwed, bro. Look at those arrows in his shield. He got to the line, and they all come in at him with their long swords and just owned him. Of the archers, basically all have two-handed swords in this mod because they have a long sword, and a long sword can be swapped to in this mod to use for two-handed. It's amazing. I love that. That's a feature. It's so good. Wait, am I using losing infantry right now? Infantry, defend yourselves. We will not be losing any more infantry. Oh, I thought we were having an out of ammo situation with these archers. We're not. Some of them just aren't shooting. Fire back, lads. Litter the field with their dead. Infantry, just get here, holy shit. Into formation. What do they got left? 180 of that. Bro, what am I doing? Actually, you know what, fucking no. We just let the archers do this. It's the safest, most efficient way. We just let the archers continue to do what the archers do best. Shoot at their dudes repetitively. And we should win this. We do outnumber their archers. More and more of ours are showing up. Our infantry line's getting bigger as the as time goes on. Any drew archers that have dropped arrows will just pick up the arrows with the rest of our archers. Uh, Y'all need to make room for this archer to get through. Dude, man is just trying to get to the front line and y'all are screwing him. Oh, they're closing ranks. That's good for us. Look at all those kills. When they close up like that, oh, I think half their force just broke. I'm not going to lie. We may have just shattered the northern army with archers. Or are they repositioning? I don't know. But I believe our archers are basically out of ammo. For the most part. Yeah, I think they're just retreating. Go forward, everybody. Make sure that that is what they are doing. Chase them from the field. Wait, are they forming up up there? Our cav is now finally striking at them. Will their cav turn in time? Or will we get a good charge off on their infantry force here? Oh, huge. If they weren't breaking, we might be able to get a big morale smack off this. Oh, yep, their archers weren't breaking. Archers definitely weren't breaking. They've all got weapons out. Or are their archers just out of ammo? Oh, no, they're not out of ammo. That guy has ammo. It was a deception. Deceit. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh we're good. Ha <laughs> ha. Get us the f out of here, boys. I 
I think our cab's getting crushed. Yeah. 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 I don't care if I don't get many kills here. The point is, people are going to die. When my inf if my infantry line catches up and these guys haven't fully retreated, they're screwed. Was that what they were doing? Were they fully retreated? They were. They were retreating. Okay. So I was correct on that assumption, at least. They did try to make a stand. They got a bit of morale back and tried to go us like this. This guy's still got morale. Look at this. The balls on that guy, huh? Must have come into the battle late. Didn't see what happened at the start. Kill this guy. Get him out of here. Yeah. We did it. We'll swap the audio back on now. A little bit. That was a majestic battle. Victory is ours. They're cheering King of the North as we fight against the North. Amazing. I am the King in the North, I guess. We need to... We need a peace with one of these factions. We can't fight the Vale and the North. We don't have the numbers for it. We needed more time to be able to build up. They've sort of taken that from us. You are my prisoner now. You are also my prisoner now. Because you ran into a fucking full storm of archers and died almost at the start of the battle like an absolute idiot. Everyone remember Lord Dustin? <laughs> what a dumbass. Okay, let's get all these troop upgrades in. Try and get our army up to absolute peak fighting condition. We picked up a lot of newer sort of units when we were trying to build up. So, we've got some shears that needs upgrading. I love that our army is just made up of everything. We've got Ironborn, we've got Northern Nobles, we've got fucking Aaron Footman, Vale Rangers, Vale Knights, West, some Westland soldiers every now and then I think I see. Yeah, we've got all sorts of stuff in here. I like it. It's good, it's good, it's good. Ironborn recruits, level them up. Bam, bam, bam. Huge. Absolutely huge. Right. The siege of... The city has been lifted. Sheep. Okay, we got a sheep now. We'll take that. I, sir, would appreciate peace with the other realms. The worst part is, right, that I gave Pike away. So if I lose the twins, I've lost my settlement. This is still technically belongs to my faction, but I made the other dude the lord of it. Notice the... What is his sigil? What did he pick? It almost looks like muskets. Like crossed over each other. And it's like, but this is a game with swords. Big confusion. All right. Siege of the twins was lifted. Bring our men in here. We'll go to the go to the keep. You know, the dungeons. Look at that, Lord Flint is there. More northern lords to be placed. <laughs> Look at all those prisoners at the twins. A lot of dudes. I need a thing that can slowly converts. I wish there was a model like slowly, slowly converted your prisoners into uh, garrison. Like they're working as the town guard or something. Um, I don't know. I think it would be a cool concept. Now, we need, we need a way out. Um, Pike. Yeah, see we have like no defense, that's our problem. Look at these, they've got 20,000 men to our 1,400. We don't want to fight them at all. No way in hell. What? What? What do you mean? Peace is necessary. 
I don't care if the other dudes oppose it. Despite the opposition of his council. Well, my lord over there is going to have to fucking shut the fuck up because we do not have the manpower to be facing off against that. No shot, bro. Right, now, to try and keep our men replenishing, I need to break up the army up. I can't have a full army going. As good as that is for leadership bonuses, it's absolutely shite for our overall war performance because I need them to go recruit. Uh, that's the thing I've got to do. Um, diplomacy, war, defensive, not offensive. Otherwise, they'll run off trying to battle dudes and we'll get our asses whooped. Alrighty, I'll check the time on this video in a second, guys. We might have to wrap it up there and call it a day um let's have a look at what we're up to yeah all right i think we'll we'll definitely end it there guys um please drop a like comment subscribe tell me what you want to see also if you've watched to the end thank you so much it really helps uh the channel and growth we get suggested a lot suggested a lot more to more people um it's just really good for the channel yeah I'm trying to grow our little tiny community um, yeah, what do you guys think we should do? Put it in the comments. Should we commit to this war and attempt to take something from the north? Or should we try to sort of, you know, if the game allows us, can we try and peace out with them while we build up? You guys decide. We'll vote in the comments. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye for now.